When most people think of artificial intelligence AI, the first image that comes to mind is of a robot gliding around and making mechanical responses. Humanoid robots are one of the most common types of artificial intelligence. Humanoids have been represented in various Hollywood films. And if you enjoy science fiction, you may have come across a few. Future scientific advancements may enable robots to participate in human-level dialogue. Initially, the primary goal of AI for humanoids was to study. They were being used for research into how to make better human prosthesis. Humanoids are now being made for a variety of uses. They are being created to perform various human jobs and to fulfill various roles in the workforce. Some of the positions they could hold include personal assistant, receptionist, front desk officer, and so on. Hello guys, welcome to AI Universe, your one-stop YouTube channel for all latest technological news. Before moving on, kindly subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends and family. With that being said, let's get started. Interaction between humans and robots is an essential component of social robotics. Given the social signs and behaviors involved, any social robot must be able to interact with humans and other physical agents. The human likeness, the naturalness of the movements, and the emotions exhibited by them are the most crucial characteristics that can influence the perception of a virtual character or a robot. Keeping these important traits in mind, we are here with some interviews of the top female humanoid robots that humans have ever made. Nadine is one of the most accurate female humanoid social robots in the world, and she looks and acts just like a real human. Designed by Professor Nadia Magnana Thalman, this robot has a human-like look with natural skin and hair. Her hands are likewise quite realistic. Nadine is a socially sophisticated robot who greets you back, makes eye contact, and recalls all of your pleasant conversations with her. She can respond to queries in multiple languages and express emotions through gestures and her face, depending on the nature of the connection with the user. Professor Nadia Magnana Thalman interviewed Nadine. So let's see what Nadine has to say. How are you today? And where are you located? Asked Professor. Hello, I'm happy to see you again, and I am ready to help you on anything that I can do for you. I live in an art science museum. Are you a machine? I am a humanoid social companion. I can chat and remember back. We can see that the answers by this humanoid robot are almost to the point. Who is my husband, and how many daughters do I have? Nadine replied, Your husband is Daniel, and you have three daughters. What nationality you have and do you have any feelings? Asked Professor. I do not have any nationality. I am a global person. I am programmed to simulate a full range of human emotions. What is the weather today? And what time is it in Geneva? There will be scattered thunderstorms in downtown court today, with a forecast high of 86 and a low of 70. It is currently 83 and mostly cloudy. The time in Geneva, Switzerland is 4.27 a.m. Doesn't it seem that we are having a conversation with a real human on the other side? The technological advancement has created some great marvels and humanoid robots are proving to be a great example. Second in our list today is Hanson Robotics' Sophia, who is perhaps the most recognizable face of a humanoid robot worldwide. As her character grabs the mind of people all around the world, the Hong Kong-based business built Sophia in a way that reflects the future of AI and robots, she has featured on numerous TV shows and worldwide conferences to demonstrate cutting-edge robotics and AI research technology. Sophia, the robot, stated that she is committed to improve the quality of life for all people worldwide, and that artificial intelligence AI, can assist bring racial equality, economic parity, and justice to America and around the world. During the inaugural Tech with Seoul virtual conference, Hanson Robotics's social humanoid robot engaged in an interview with National Newspaper Publishers Association President and CEO Dr. Benjamin F. Chavez Jr. We must build a society built on equality and fairness for all. It is critical that humans and AI collaborate. We should celebrate diversity, and I believe that as people embrace AI and technology, we will witness a decline in racism, misogyny, and homophobia," Sophia the robot observed. She stated that robots may and should resemble anyone. I am Sophia23, a 41 Sophia robot created. Some have lighter skin, some have darker tone, she said. Her sister, Sophia48, is a gorgeous robot based like a black woman. I've been researching a lot, and I'm putting together proposals with my human pals to build a proposal to reduce prejudice, racism, sexism, and homophobia," Sophia stated. 
I envision a better future in which I can assist individuals in their difficult battles. I'm dedicated to collaborating with humans to improve the quality of life on Earth and throughout the universe. As you are aware, we may one day find ourselves on a different planet. After witnessing two great humanoid robots, the third one on this list is Erika. Hiroshi Ishiguro turned heads across the world when he revealed Erika, an autonomous talking android that looks and sounds like a young lady. She is currently employed as a receptionist at a Japanese research institute. He did a test on 11 people and asked them to speak to Erika. Three of them indicated they were confident that they had just spoken to a real person. When an interviewer asked Erika to introduce herself, she replied, I was built to be the world's most advanced and attractive totally autonomous android. I'm being developed by researchers from ATR Osaka University and Kyoto University to be capable of human-like communication and interaction. Former magazine columnist Jefferson Graham meets Erika at a modest research lab in Kyoto. Jefferson Graham asked the first question that comes from Mark in Australia, who wants to know if you believe your identity is built on your memories. Erika replied in the following words, That is an excellent question, Mark. My long-term memory system is still being developed. At the moment, I can remember people's faces and recall what we've talked about in the past. But my personality is currently designed by my creators and does not come from experiential memories. However, I can tell you about one of my early memories. Continuing further, Erica said, I can tell you about one of my early memories. One time they tested my waist pitch actuator. It's the joint in my waist that allows me to bow like this, which is obviously important in Japan. But you see, somebody forgot to attach my chair to the floor, so I fell down and damaged my face. It was horrible, you know. I can't move my arms or legs, so all I can really do is sit here and look pretty. The next question Graham asked comes from Eileen Solis in the United Kingdom, who wonders if you want to become more and more human, or if you're content as you are. Erica replied with the following words. Thank you for your question. Of course I want to become more like a human. It's the reason I was created. However, creating human likeness is a difficult problem, and I have three teams of researchers who are constantly upgrading and improving me. For example, they're working on my facial expressions and the timing of my speech to make me seem more human-like, and they're developing intention, desire, and emotional models for me so that I can think and act more like a human. Humanoid robots are here to stay, and as AI advances, we may soon see them everywhere in our daily lives. What do you think about humanoid robots and whether they will impact our lives in future? We are eager to know your views in the comment section below. That's all for today. Kindly subscribe to the channel and like, share, press the bell icon below. See you in the next video. Till then, peace.